hormones are released into the body, that your attention narrows, um, you don't have as much lateral thinking, so it, yeah, you, you tend to focus, you tend to forget more, um, depending on the situation, um, have trouble sleeping, so your body doesn't digest as well. So we talk about how while these are, the, the stress response is useful, it's actually a good thing in a, in a short-term situation if you need to run away from something, uh, if you need to quickly tackle a situation, you need a lot of energy, but this chronic elicitation of the stress response um, has you know, the negative effects on all these systems, on memory, on your GI system, on um, yeah, your heart rate, breathing rate, and which affects how you think. Yeah. I was really interested um, in what you said about like the almost biofeedback component um, when you were talking about the sensor on the hand, and I thought that was really interesting because I don't think that's a part of MBSR or FBCT. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering if you could say a little bit more about the role of that in the program. Sure. Um, so after we've introduced sort of the stress physiology and how the effects that stress has on your body, we will then show, and people have been introduced to the relaxation response, we'll give people these bio dots, which are actually a lot like those mood rings, if they remember those. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's a crude way of, of measuring sort of your emotions, but it, um, because when you're, when you're stressed out, um, it affects the dilation of your veins, that you, um, you have basically less blood flow going to the hands. Um, and so you have that your, um, so it affects the temperature of your hands. And so these dots will, um, you know, it's, it's a very crude measure, but it shows <coughs> if it's this color, it means you're probably more stressed out. If you're this color, it's more um, calm and engaged. And so we have people say, put them on and see what color it is initially then we'll guide them through a relaxation response and, and see if it changes color. And then we'll have them try and keep it on throughout the day or even longer if they can and see throughout their everyday lives what things you know, are affecting their body in what ways. And in some cases, people are really surprised that, oh, actually at work, I'm, I'm more relaxed than when I'm sitting in traffic on the way home. I mean, so the, the people really can, can gain some valuable insights into that and then once they, they know that, can take appropriate action. Why not just use the, the little easy to get thermometers that you use taping to fingers and just, you know, have, why not a real thermometer? Um, I don't know, we, we have the, I think these are small, inexpensive, they're easy to put on, you can put them, you know, easily on your hand and people can cover them with a bandaid if they don't want people to see what they have. Um, it's an unobtrusive, inexpensive way of biofeedback. Yeah. Is that official scientific yeah. Can I get That's, one? <laughs> um, I can, yeah. yeah, I can look into, they're called bio dots. You can buy them. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can mail them. Yeah. So you can order the them. Thing, the thing is, people would have it 24 seven. If, if you do biofeedback and you give them a thermometer, then it's a, a, um, a process and they have to sit for 10 minutes and take time out and do it. So, so they're learning something that's more um, related to the up and down of their everyday life. Right. Yeah, exactly. Matt, yes. could you talk a little about social support? Yeah. Um, so we talk about research on how uh, really social support is, has been a predictor of sort of longevity, of overall health, um, how we talk about how Unfortunately, it's, it's decreased um, over the past several decades from people say, endorsing that they have like three or four really close friends to just saying that they have one or fewer really close friends. Uh, and just talking about how um, social support really yeah, does, does give people, um, both makes them feel good and also affects your immune system, affects um, a lot of these same systems that the listening and relaxation response does. So we we encourage people, you know, within the group to find support, but then also think about um, in their everyday lives, um, sort of strengthening the connections they have with people or even animals. Um, pets are a great way of, of 
alleviating stress and, and finding that sense of connection. So what about Facebook and Twitter and all of those? <laughs> I know, I'm really <laughs> interested to see a study on, on that. And yeah, whether that makes, whether that um, type of social support is, is as good for people or not as good. Um, uh, yeah, I think that would be very interesting. So I have the unpleasant job of keeping an eye on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, gonna, I was gonna wonder if maybe we should save questions until the end, because we, we are more than half the time passed already. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> now it's time, I'm going to show one of the techniques that we use when we were in, would introduce the relaxation response. Uh, so, we describe a little bit about um, the, the physiology that I was talking about. And then we would introduce <laughs> diaphragmatic breathing. So we would say, you know, there's chest breathing in which you're taking sort of a shallower breath. And then there's a more deeper diaphragmatic breathing in which you have the air really coming all the way into your lungs, filling it up. And you can even, um, your abdomen and lower belly will, you'll feel the inflate and deflate with each breath. And so the diaphragmatic breathing is really a more healthful type of breathing, the type that musicians do that, um, that uh, people in professional sports will be taught to do. And so we want to encourage you to, to try this type of breathing. The two techniques that we'll sort of describe is first guiding you through relaxation of muscle groups and then um, focusing on a chosen word or phrase for this practice. So we'll just do a shorter, five to 10 minutes sit now to give you guys a taste of it. But So finding a simple, uh, comfortable position with your feet flat on the floor. Hands either resting in your lap or on your knees. Back straight but not stiff. And then eyes either closed or looking down at the floor. And just beginning by taking a couple nice, easy, relaxing breaths in through the nose. Trying to have feel that diaphragmatic breathing. Feeling the air as it enters the nostril. chest gently rise and fall and feeling the diaphragm, the abdomen, <coughs> belly, all inflating and deflating gently like a balloon. Letting go of any thoughts about the day cares or worries, just breathing here in this moment.